a local photographer and inspiration to many budding artists, has passed away. We first told you about Asher Mendonza in May of 2005 when he fell 40 feet in the abandoned Parkway Towers building and was paralyzed from the chest down. News Channel Line's Kelsey Bagwell joins us now from that building with more. Kelsey. Well, Kim Calvin, Asher Mendonza was taking pictures in this building behind me when he fell 40 feet. Miraculously, he survived that fall, but not without suffering serious injuries, paralyzing him from the chest down. His passing is not only devastating for friends and family, but it serves as a reminder that this abandoned building is still here in the booming south side. In 1913, Parkway Towers was built to be the Tennessee Electric Power Company's substation. In the early 30s, the Tennessee Valley Authority bought out TEPCO, rendering this building useless. It was purchased in 2008 in the name of Parkway Towers Development, Inc., but nothing has been done with it since, despite its premier location. That's one of the first things you see when you come into Chattanooga um, and, you know, it can kind of give you the wrong impression um, and, you know, that's just not, not what we need to, to make a great image of the city. In 2005, Asher Mendonca went inside to take photographs but fell, becoming paralyzed. He later posted these pictures on Facebook of the towers, titling them, You Killed Asher Mendonca. In 2013, his health started to decline as a result of his paralysis, and he passed away Tuesday. We spoke with someone who knows his family and says something needs to be done. And it really makes it much more personal knowing, you know, that, you know, such a wonderful family had to endure heartbreak over a building that was open and people were exploring it. A few years back, developers proposed full renovation plans of the building. It was supposed to have a greenhouse, condos, even a microbrewery. But those plans flopped when investors wouldn't back them financially. The building still sits empty, abandoned, and decaying. But Chattanoogans are hopeful there's more in store for this building. It could be turned into something cool. I mean, the south side is up and coming and uh, Everybody wants to go down there. Everybody's down there for the for the market, and um, I don't know. Let's turn it into something awesome. The Mendonces filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the former owner of Parkway Towers, saying the structure was not safe. That lawsuit was settled. Now, future plans for this structure are unclear right now, but depend on us to update you as soon as we learn more about what's next for Parkway Towers. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Kelsey Bagwell, News Channel 9. Kelsey, thank you.